So, so I'm also joining with me today is uh, Professor Tenarasu with me. Um, I know, like he know, uh, he does not need an introduction. So he's our most of our mentor, and he's creating a big difference in quality professional skills by helping us to compare with NHQ competency framework. So welcome, uh, Professor Tenarasu, for the uh, webinar. Um, so uh, again, I welcome you all uh, on um, heartily welcome to everyone. So this is going to be like a um, session uh, which will uh, help us to um, understand that how much CPHQ is effective in uh, our day-to-day -day life and uh, being a quality professional. And uh, how could we share our learnings and our experience with uh, uh, people who like to go for CPHQ and um, how it can uh, enhance their career. Okay. So we... Okay, someone is talking. Um, please mute yourself. Thank you very much. So we've got around 44 people joined us today. So could you please quickly uh, put your name and your profession in the chat so that we will get to know like who and all joined with us today and uh, which sector are you from? Because uh, if I ask everyone to introduce yourself, it's going to be really a long uh, conversation. So, okay, so find Rani Rinish. Can you put your designation also along with your name so that we will know that we will know about you? We'll take a couple of minutes for this activity. Can I get a quick response, please? Rari Ramesh, okay, Dr. Abhijit, okay, welcome. Amu John, Chandreu. Pichayam Al Subramaniam, Vasudevi Somasundram, Senior Executive Operation Aster, okay, Sanju Shahid Islam, okay, Anjali, Ms. Deepthi, Lakshmi Kuti, Dr. Sajid Khan, Kanan Quality Officer, okay, I can skin mostly quality professionals, okay. Let's get best out of the session today, okay? Prabhakaran, quality manager of Budabi, Sahila, okay, Ramya, hi Ramya, okay, Ashwadi, few people I know, so I'm saying hi to them, uh, okay, Printu Filippos, okay, Jaspin Lewis, okay, that's amazing, that's amazing. Most of us are quality managers, quality heads, infection control. And lab technologist, um, okay, Evangeline, okay, that's amazing, okay. So I think definitely today, whatever the things that we are going to discuss um, is going to uh, be helpful to all of us, uh, uh, to me, because I'm a quality manager, so it's going. I'm very sure that's going to be useful for me. I'm sure that uh, let's be open to heart, let's share our, um, uh, share our thoughts to it, and let's help each other um uh, being a, a cphq professional and also for the aspirants today okay so um what i'm uh, going to do today is like i have a set of questions so we don't have a speaker today but i'm going to ask i'm going to start the session with a set of questions so i request your volunteer to start the conversation from there onwards i think that will help us uh, to initiate it okay so um though so the first important thing is like a general question. Can anyone volunteer for how does the CPHQ certification impacted your career in healthcare quality? So um, can anyone volunteer and share your uh, findings on this, please? So I'll put the question also in the chat box. So what motivated you to pursue the CPHQ certification and how has it impacted your career in healthcare quality? The first Hi, person- Rathi. Yeah, I'm Pichamal here. Hello, Ms. Pichamal, good evening. Good evening, I'm Pichamal Subramaniam, heading quality uh, for Flab Healthcare Consultant Private Limited, India, Chennai. Mm -hmm. uh, Wonderful so to have you here. Thank I'm, you, thank you so much. I'm also uh, from Chennai, yeah. So it's oh, nice to be here. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Uh, yeah, see, uh, in a country like India, you know, where uh, quality is seen as uh, only accreditation. And uh, we are still in the development phase and uh, we have a lot of mushroomy hospitals and clinics. And quality is still a distant dream for uh, most of the quality managers to achieve, actually. So, uh, but I won't say it is the same as when I started my career. It is, it is slowly in a progressive state, but we have not achieved it. Uh, in a in a full fledged manner, but quality concepts and implementation, you know, should be learned from a proper person and a proper medium. Only then you can lead your organization and your team, and most importantly, convincing your management and bringing your consultants on board. Most of the quality managers face this uh, a biggest challenge: bringing the consultants and management in par with what is our requirement and what is our expectation. So for that, I think the CPHQ certification will give you a confidence uh, to be determined on your thoughts and ideas. And obviously it is going to be uh, for, the, for your organization betterment and for the patients who trust and come steps into your hospital. Uh, so uh, it, it is CPHQ certification is, you know, it helps you to explain to the people, to your team and your management, how important is quality and patient safety uh, in each area, so like let it start, let it be from the reception, how you uh, welcome the patient, how you reduce the waiting time and how you collect the patient experience and how the patient experience has got an impact on the visibility or the image of your organization. So uh, in every step, in every minute steps, the CPHQ certification is helping a lot. And even uh, to my surprise, when we discuss certain new concepts, which I have learned in the CPHQ, when I discuss with the management, and they're quite, uh, they're quite happy, and they are welcoming the concept, and they are happy to introduce in the hospitals. So I think uh, in that way, it is better for the organization, the patients, as well as for the individual growth. That's great. Yeah, that's great. I agree with you. Uh, being a quality professional, if you're CPHQ certified, it gives you a next level of confidence. Yes, I know what is the current practices. I know what I'm supposed to have as skills. And uh, because healthcare is a very complex industry, you have uh, clinical, non-clinical departments, and you have various uh, uh, professionals like doctors, nurses, paramedical staff, leadership, so how do we balance all of them, you know, with what is the common approach that we can take to balance it? So do we have the skills and ability to balance that? For that, you need confidence, right? So definitely, I agree with you. CPHQ helps that because um, I'm also uh, uh, feeling the same and experiencing the same uh, from a quality to quality professional. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Pichiamal. Thank you. Thank so you. let's see. Um, I okay, Mr. Apichit here says I really wanted to do research work in healthcare quality so that I can help your community of disease uh, in view of uh, view of treatment and avoid disease. That's excellent, um, uh, Mr. Abhijit. Would you like to share some thoughts on this? What's your plan? So, how far you have? Where where are you in your research journey? Can you share a few words on this, please? Uh, Ma'am, I'm uh, in uh, traveling now, right now. Uh, I'm yeah. attending this uh, uh, webinar. Uh, uh, I really motivate the quality work to uh, work towards the, uh, to avoid the diseases uh, and uh, to avoid the harm uh, the, the patients who are admitted in the hospital. They did not get the medication errors. And so like, motivated really to have a cphq certificates that's 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 wonderful wonderful thank you it was a uh, really uh to from your heart okay. you have spoken this that we really wanted to care for patient safety and you want to contribute for patient safety by uh improving the skills and um as, uh, and to serve the community i understand that okay so fine let's move on to the next question okay so we say that yeah we are up, we are at par with the skills and uh, we are trying to know things and we are trying to approach things in the hospital to our management to our leadership okay let's see that in what cphq as a cphq 
how are we up to date with the latest trends and best practices in healthcare quality management? How we being a CPHQ professional, how are we staying updated on the latest trends and best practice, practices in healthcare quality management? I really need some thoughts on this because uh, I'm a growing professional. I'm sure anyone of me, any one of you can help me with this. Okay, so before someone decides to come forward, uh, let me put a thought, okay? So I have a note, uh, a, a sticky note on my desk always, which says uh, major um, uh, standard names like, or the organization names that I refer to on my day-to-day -day work. So um, like WHO, CDC, AHRQ, then uh, NAHQ, after CPHQ certification has started with NAHQ, then also uh, ISQA, then I, IHI, I'm currently preparing for uh, CPPS. So now I refer to IHI. And of course, I refer, I also, also have a copy of uh, receipt materials with me. And because when I did my CPHQ, I always take these notes, whatever uh, Tenar Susar has taught, taught us. So that materials are very helpful for me now. So uh, anything, if I wanted to know how to uh, plot a graph, for what kind of data I can go back and refer. And also I know that H HRQ are a set of uh, KPIs they have where I go and refer. So um, I, am in an, I am just following up on all these uh, websites and the newsletter, what these uh, organizations are giving me so that uh, I get up to date. For recently, when we had a CPPS class, I got to know about RCS choir concept. So I went back and I checked like, okay, well, how does it work? And these are the terminologies which are coming forward. So I think to, up, to up, get update with our industry, we need to really uh, uh, know about the organizations or the associations, which gives us information on the current uh, trends and best practices in the industry. So uh, yes, uh, over to someone else. Please throw some light on this, please. Uh Raghavi, I just want to add on a few things to your... Uh, Again, Mr. Shemal, yes. Yeah. Yes. So I normally, every day in the morning, I travel by train, okay? So what I do, I always open my LinkedIn profile. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of inputs. Even today, I shared some top 14 hazards, uh, you know, for 2024 in our CPHK group. So LinkedIn is one of the platform where we can learn a lot of things from uh, across across the globe. And everybody mm. keep posting their good practices in, in, you know, in their profile and they do share it and that even helps us. And all, I also subscribe to CDC, WHO, NAHQ, AHRQ. I subscribe for their newsletter. So in that way also I as receive mail. So every day as a part of official uh, mail check, no, I also do my personal mail check. So where I could learn new things. So in okay. that way, and uh, even now we have a lot of different uh, healthcare quality groups, WhatsApp groups. So we also have to keep a check on that so that, you know, we can learn. A lot Thank of you. Things. I'll not take note of that WhatsApp group. Yes, I'm in receipt group, but uh, I'm sure there are. Yes. Yes. A yeah. couple of groups. Yes. I agree with you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes. Thank you, Ms. Pichemal, for this. But. I want somebody else also to give me inputs. Please, guys, you joined here today. Man. Mr. Shahid Islam, please. Yeah. Uh, I will add to your comment and uh, Ma'am Pichan will comment that I came across with a new concept a few days back that uh, as we have studied uh, root cause analysis and RCS square, there is one another concept, success oh. cause analysis. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Ms. Dia Davis, could you please mute? Thank you very much. Yes, please go ahead, sir. Yeah. There is one concept uh, from the IHI that is uh, success cost analysis. Uh, because in the quality or uh, process improvement journey, we uh, apply or adapt, implement uh, many things, and we get the desired results, then uh, we should conduct the success cost analysis that what is the most uh, contributing factor to the success. So it will uh, help to refine the future uh, implementation of uh, uh, those things. So success analysis, success, uh, success, success cause analysis is another concept also. 
Okay. Uh, so it's it's referred by uh, IHI, is it? IHI concept from the yes, IHI? Yes, IHI. Yes. Okay. So success card analysis, is it? Success, success card analysis. Okay. Okay. That's great. Okay. That is like, uh, when, when do we use this? Once you achieve something in the project or uh, any yes. initiative? You do give this once we achieve once we achieve our goals, we should conduct success cause analysis. Okay, so you give like you do a PDSA project, or you feel that uh, something has become successful based on the initiative. You can yes. uh, recognize staff using this success card also, right? Like kind of a, yes. a recognition. That's wonderful, sir. Yes. That is an awesome awesome input. Like I know because today I was thinking about um, in my organization about the pain reassessment process, you know, by the nurses. So uh, what we do is like uh, we, we recognize good catch. We recognize uh, top three or five departments who are doing uh, reporting more number of incidents just to encourage the practice, uh, promote just culture. So I was uh, thinking about what do we do if something like an audit analysis, uh, if some department is doing good, if a professional has really done well. I believe me, this uh, input, whatever you're given, has added amazing value for it, and I'm going to implement it. Thank you so much, Mr. Shahid. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, any anybody else has any points? Because uh, I would like to know about what is your reference source for latest trends and uh, uh, analysis. Or anybody else? I see a lot yes, of people. Hi. hi, this is Ramya. I just thought Thank about you, Ramya. You. <laughs> I wanted to call your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was listening to all of you. Uh, you all have given wonderful inputs, and yeah. I do agree with what all you have listed, like AHRQ, NHQ, WHO, CDC, IHI. All are good reference sources for us. And uh, uh, my humble suggestion to all who are attending: please do subscribe to their newsletters. It will be a good feed for your thought on a daily basis. And um, and uh, we also miss some of the accreditation standards like JCI, NABH, whatever. Once you read between the lines, you will start understanding what is mentioned there. So always uh, read between the lines of each standard and always make it a practice that daily you will devote yourself at least uh, half an hour to 45 minutes uh, on reading quality related articles. Uh, let it be in LinkedIn or any other platforms and please keep connected. As uh, Ms. Pichamal had said that, please be connected uh, through the WhatsApp groups of quality professionals and all. And uh, I would also like to add something else, which I am doing in my organization that to keep my staff also motivated and updated, we do give a weekly one topic assignment for each of the staff in the department so yeah. that they will start preparing and they will be presenting uh, in detail. Maybe uh, sometimes it will be related to any of the accreditation standards maybe related to FMEA, uh, PDCEA, or even uh, KPA's data validation, any of the topics, RCAs and all. So once they refer, we will also be doing a thorough research on that so that once uh, the questions comes, we also need to answer. So that would be a, a, a good practice for all the aspiring quality professionals uh, within your department, in your quality department or in your hospital. If you have a weekly meeting where you will be preparing and presenting something, it will be an added advantage, I think. That's a, that's a great idea, Ramya. Yes, um, like uh, to upskill ourselves as well as to the HODs yes. in charges. That yes. uh, helps helps us to buy in them. Like, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank I, you. Thank you, Ramya. Thanks. Okay. So um, moving on to next question. Um, how many of you all are appearing for CPHQ exam this time? Okay. Okay, there are lots of people who are going for CPHQ exam. Okay, let's make it useful for them, okay? So, uh, okay, can anyone uh, share us like what is important for the CPHQ exam about the exam pattern and uh, how focused you have to be? Can anyone give some tips to the people who are gonna appear for the exam? Those have recently passed out. Come on guys, let's help them. Raghvish, can I? <laughs> yes, yes, go ahead, go ahead, yeah. Okay. 
there's lot of people there are a lot of people appearing yeah i just want yeah. to can i wait then can someone take over yeah uh, uh we really need it yeah i can understand it okay please go ahead miss pichayamar please go ahead okay so first actually before me uh, uh, enrolling in rishi you know i i um, attended few of the webinars uh, discussions by previous passed out batch so uh, i remember a few of them telling like you have to restrict yourself completely you should not you know uh, hang out with friends outside you should have you should cut off from social medias so i got really scared and but yeah. you know we all should understand we have a different pattern of learning yeah each each individual have a different pattern of learning and understanding so first you should understand how what is your method of learning and which is easier for you so yeah. we should never take uh, you know um, you we can take info or input from others but we should have our own a uh, pattern of reading which is comfortable for us and we should not stress ourselves that's the first thing i would like to say but that never worked out for me i did oh, i hang out with my friends we had you know uh, we had outing we had quality time with the family so you don't have to worry about that that's the first thing make yourself completely comfortable that's the first most important thing and the sir always used to say tell us 100% attendance is mandatory but we do have emergencies so a uh, maximum uh, give attendance to all the sessions and if at all there are breaks that it's not a problem get connected with your colleagues uh, get the process in flow okay you can get connected get information from them but don't give a break uh, in, in your learning process just be uh, adhere to the process that's the second thing and third thing is right or wrong you know we'll have lot of uh, discussions you know heated arguments even sometimes during the session so don't worry about that let it be right or wrong uh, uh, let it be arguments even so engage as much as possible during the session so that that's the only way you can extract information from the other end so i think that is very much important because we are all from different uh, backgrounds no, different hospitals some would be in a smaller health se- healthcare no. setting some would be in a larger hospital which is jci accredited some would be only an nabh entry level accredited so only interaction will get you a lot of inputs which is very helpful during your exam preparation as well as when you answer the questions that's second thing and uh, third one would be ask yourself your own strength and weakness in each of the modules like once after the module is completed ask yourself where am i weak if for me it is always this leadership leadership because i get confused with the concepts so that is my weak uh, weakest module i would say so focus on that focus on give extra time extra attention to those modules and concepts and uh, and the fourth would be like uh, prepare your own question banks we have lot of practice questions uh, assessment mock test everything but you also have to prepare your own question banks like it is not only from the ppt content which sh- sir has already shared in the you know in your web portal it is based on the discussion and hints and uh, you know key words what sir discuss in the class so prepare your question but that's how, how i prepared like nearly 50 to 70 questions i prepared which really help you to understand the concept it is not the same going to get uh, replicated in your exam not like that but it helps you to understand the concept and redo the assessment practice questions as many times as possible this always sir insist on do it again and again like we might think even i thought like you know once or twice if you attend the question next third or fourth time you know even before you complete reading the question you know this is the answer but that is not the problem in a subconscious memory you are, you are concept the important concept keywords everything get registered so when you appear for the exam even if you are in the stress or even if you are tensed you know it helps you that it helps you to recollect so that's a, that's again second uh, last one and the la, uh, the final concept which is this is really going to help us is identify a, a study partner whom you are very comfortable in your batch within your batch like i had lakshmi kutti madam we both work in the same organization so whenever we had time you no know, during our walk across the departments when we go for rounds or when we sit for our lunch or something we used to discuss few things which is which may not be a, a comprehensive one but still it helps you to you know recollect uh, important concepts and ideas and prepare a schedule last one prepare a schedule before your exam like if you have like uh, if, if your exam is one month or one and a half months uh, you know ahead then you can every day what are you going to prepare and every week what is your timeline what is your uh, you know target and at the end the last 3 days what am i going to do um, am i going to revise all the all the question banks am i going to revise all the difficult concepts 
or uh, am I going to revise previous questions, whichever is available with uh, Rishi or the PowerPoint presentation or whatever. So you should have a strict schedule before your exams. That will help, gives you, give you confidence, actually. That's how I did. So once, if you have completed the schedule, it gives you confidence. Yes, I'm ready for the exam and I can go with full confidence and appear for the exam without any stress. I think this is how I did and it worked out for me. So I yeah. think I have yeah. given some input. Thank you. Yes, a lot of inputs. A lot of inputs. Yeah, thank you. So yes, uh, Ms. Pichemal has covered most of the things, okay? So I want to share one thing which uh, I did as a mistake. Like, I won't read the question properly. <laughs> okay? So the most important thing is, uh, yes, I know that when you do the assessment with the uh, you will get repetitive questions, okay? Please don't take it for granted, okay? Repetitive questions are there, but every time when you look at the question, you have to understand the concept and approach as if you are approaching it for the first time. Because it is very important when you do the exam, because I know it's all situation-based question, but when you keep on repeating all the assessment questions, always approach it as a new question. You understand what it says, then you mark the answer. Just don't go, don't go blindly like, oh, I know this question answer. Because whatever sir is giving the mock test and uh, whatever the reassessment questions that you are doing, very, very important. Very, very important. So in this only, as, yes, as Chandru is asking, do we expect the same pattern? Yes, you will get this. I won't say exactly, but similar similar okay so uh vasudevi we you won't get the same question from practice but definitely numericals change but the context does not change okay because that's what if you if you go as per approach as per answer you won't you won't be able to do it you approach each and every question each and every time as a new question and understand and you have to you have to be confident on yourself hey i'm not lying to myself I know this question, I understand this concept, and I'm going to mark this because I'm comfortable in marking this, just not because the key was there. Okay? Yes. Very, very important. As Ramya says, that understanding the question is very important. It's very important because that was my, um, that was my, uh, uh, I would say, weak spot I, because all questions repeatedly, I was able to cope up like that. But fortunately, most important thing is, uh, you study for CPHQ for a, being a good quality professional, skilled professional, just not to pass the exam. That will not work. Believe me, even though you pass the exam like with luck, with just memorizing everything, when you come on board, when you work, you will not be able to make justice for the exam fees, what you have paid, for whatever the coaching fees you have paid, you will not be. Please understand, uh, Tenerife sir, statistic session and all other sessions are awesome. I have notes even till now, which I refer on my day-to-day -day work, okay? So please make nice notes, cons uh, concepts, everything by heart and keep it on your mind. Just visualize and think that you are going to implement it with your KPIs you're already ma uh, maintaining. Or if you don't know, just go and browse through it or the material is more than enough. Just pay the justice to what you have, understand the concept, and dedicatively do the questions. Do not just do it just for the sake of passing the exam, okay? Because there everything is situation-based question. So this is what I want to emphasize on that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on to next, or anybody else wants to share any tips for the people who are appearing for CPHQ exam who have passed out? Did we miss Hi. myself Hi. and Ms. Jamal missed? Hi. Yeah, Hi. Miss. Hi. I'm Dr. Shishma. I'm Dr. Shishma speaking. Hi. Hi, Dr. Shishma. Yes, please um, go ahead. Nice yeah. to see you and uh, uh, yeah. good evening, everybody and sir. So I would like to like add some things on what you have said. Uh, yeah. Most of the things are covered. So like when I joined the CPHQ training, my aim was never the certificate as it is for everybody. That was the first thing which I observed. It was, it was yeah. never the certificate. I just consider it as a certificate. That's it. I, I actually wanted to understand the concepts deeply. That is the reason I have joined RISI. Because the other sure. institute, they'll give you, you know, they will give you question banks, they will give you materials, and they will, maybe you will pass also. Yeah. But, you know, the 
but with the uh, sir we we understand the concepts so deeply like you know and and we are able to apply it practically also because in the class we are having lot of discussions so we will also discuss each and every question which i don't think any other institute yeah. is going to do that every question and not only the question sir is also discussing each and every answer below it so yeah. one point which you told that we have to read the question properly that is very true uh, because i observed that whatever questions we had here same kind of questions came in the exam but actually the answer was different yes the, the yes question i agree was framed yeah. si slightly different you know and if i didn't and if i didn't listen to that i mean i didn't read the question it would have been you know <laughs> it would yes. have been wrong so yes, so yes. that is very important <laughs> so that is actually called as the process of elimination poe what sir always yeah. says that yeah. and we should like and uh, when you select the answer first eliminate those which you think is not the answer yes so definitely for sure you will be able to eliminate two of them you will be confused between two mostly mostly you will be confused between two so you have to then select only between the two so the probability you know of selection like your uh, uh, the answer being correct becomes very high so don't hurry don't don't hurry up like that is my uh, advice that you shouldn't hurry up and also don't focus on the certificate you will ultimately you are going to get it you know it's not i'm saying this it's a statistic saying it the the people who joined rsi it's more than 80% passing rate it's a very 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 amazing you know uh, amazing yeah. data we have okay so it's not only me or the other students who passed out or not even the google reviews nothing you know it is the statistics it is the data the data is validated and you're going to pass the only thing is that you have to uh, stick to the concepts attend the classes actually for me i didn't miss even a single class hmm Yeah, I, I in fact, you know, I I was like I I was very much punctual on it. But yeah, definitely sometimes it happens that you cannot attend. But if you cannot attend, you definitely need to you know catch up on somebody uh, or study buddy or somebody you have to you know you have to make you have to have a partner which will keep you motivated. Also, yeah. I'm I, also I know like you know it's very difficult to manage it with family. Like CPH ki preparation is not an uh, it's not very easy one. You have to give time to it. You definitely have to give time to it. so attending the classes and at least you know you have to give some hours of the day for the study it's very important yes. that you know we take it seriously we, we have to take it a bit seriously but with not with some fun also but a bit mm. seriousness is also important like uh, not not seriousness but a timetable is important time management is very important in that okay and the other thing is that whenever we go for the exam uh, so we have to keep stress away because the moment stress comes in your brain shuts down i think <laughs> <laughs> and then there is panic there is panic in the last month there is let us there is complete panic you know so because yeah. of the panic because of panic you are going to lose a lot of things so you know it's always my advice that you know when you enter your examination hall just smile and be confident you are a rsi student you know that itself should make you confident yeah one funny thing is uh, when i went for exam the environment was very cold it was like it added up the nervousness <laughs> actually so uh, the thing is yeah everything attributes if you're so anxious about it yes i understand thank you ms shishma thank you yeah thank you okay so fine um then uh, will anybody else want to add up for our cphq yes i would like to add up uh, yes. yes so behind dr shishma i would like to add up i am glenisha andrade i am uh, working in abu dhabi actually in Hi. hospital so yeah so i would like to uh, give some inputs uh, so being a fresher like not a fresher in quality but i was the youngest or what you say i don't have much experience and i just graduated and i have two three years of experience in quality so i was so scared about uh, how will i pass i think uh, we need to have experience in quality and big uh, corporate hospitals actually it's not the case uh, we can uh, try this because mainly understanding the concept is very important here and uh, first thing i would like to say when sir says that okay uh, still there are 3 months for uh, exam so uh, start spending 30 minutes of your time in a day so then uh, when the exam is nearing he will say spend 2 hours of your time so personally he'll guide you so uh, you know make sure that you spend so much of time when sir says and uh, second thing is that material he was always saying that don't refer um, 
like you know too much materials from outside okay you can refer but then when you uh, you know uh, you know just refer uh, more materials than youtube and things like that it will be so confusing for you so uh, please uh, no, take note of that and third thing is that attendance yeah obviously uh, many people told that we have to uh, attend so actually all the classes we have to attend and when sir says each point so it is very important to take note of all the points what he says each point is very important uh, for the exam so it is better to uh, take note of everything and uh, be attentive in the class and fourth thing is that yeah we need to have a, a friend in this like uh, while studying so dr shishma was my close friend in this we are not strangers here when we start the uh, coaching uh, i think i met her uh, and then i just uh, you know she like met her in the sense online itself i spoke to her and then she was motiv motivating me we had a timetable actually each day we will study so much and uh, yeah before we go to bed we will finish this chapter so she was really motivating me and we had our own timetable where we used to discuss and then study so that is a one best thing that you can motivate yourself to study and complete the portion and then yeah sir always recognizes our uh, efforts also so when sir is explaining and things like that he is putting his efforts and also we have to give our 100 percent in studies maybe in spending time for all these uh you know studies that is also very important and then coming to understanding and memorizing the concept so mainly what i have done in the sense i have remembered all the key points and then later on in the coming days i started understanding the concept so first when you remember the key points that's more than enough automatically you start thinking about those concepts and meanings and things like that so that is one thing and coming to the exam exam wise uh, i would like to say that we should not get tensed more when we go for the exam since it is three hours yeah obviously we'll get tense but before the exam we should think that no matter how much we have prepared we should think that okay we are the expert now we have studied for six months so we are confident now so with that attitude we are supposed to go and secondly uh, we have to what i have done in the sense i have given sufficient time for each of the questions and then i have attended in one go all the questions but many of the questions i had flagged it and then at the end i I just uh, went through all these questions. I, I think 15 minutes I kept at the end. So just to go through all these flag the questions. So uh, I could manage my time by this. And uh, yeah, this is how I can say that I have faced these challenges. And then I have, uh, you know, uh, passed the CPHQ, I can say. So thank you, Dr. Uh, Tena, sir, for all your support. And also, it was really great uh, learning from Rishi uh, organization. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. OK, as hello. Uh, hello. Yes. Can I add a few points? Please. Please. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Please. It's about the uh, institution where we studied and uh, sir, about Tena, sir. Uh, if we don't have confidence on us also, sir has so much of confidence, like uh, like we will get through it and we will uh, clear it. He, he was a supporting person for us, saying like, uh, you'll uh, win it, madam, don't worry. Like It was not like as a mentor, it was like an, um, a personal friend or a mentor what we need a support during that stressful situation. In my scenario, like uh, when, when I took a six months of uh, course for that, uh, during September, there was a transition uh, of my, uh, from one, uh, the current institution to a new institution where I will be facing on November NABH audit. It was very stressful for me to attend the classes and to uh, recollect it. And I, I was working for the NABH there too. Um, I was the first one to uh, attend the exam November 10th and November 16th for the NABH audit. It was very stressful during the day of the exam also, like one day before when I asked the sir for an help about the key points and things like that. Uh, he was about uh, around six o'clock in, in India, I think so, uh, most probably in Saudi, most probably early morning it seems, right? 
So sir was having 40 minutes of class during uh, through Zoom and he clarified certain doubts which is there for during the day of the exam too. So that much courage and confidence he has and he supports us uh, a lot. And as Pichamal said, like uh, we do have certain uh, Zoom meetings uh, when we have a doubt and uh, she has given a plan of uh, study material like uh, she has scheduled the uh, thing like it has to be finished so she'll be messaging me like whether you have finished it because uh, because of my transition I should not forget so it's it's not only to get the certificate ma'am like uh, we get uh, good friends uh, like Shishma madam in between she will make a call Layana sir and then uh, Sanju ma'am like uh, it, it's a team of members and we do interact and uh, it's only not for the certification uh, it's all uh, in future as a quality person. So we do have support and it should be implemented. This has helped us a lot in the implementation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lakshmi. Thanks. So somebody spoke about time management, right? So that is also very important because um, you need to really watch the time and um, when you do the exam. Uh, so practice a lot on the time management. This is a key point I would like to say because uh, I experienced that because I I kept around 10 minutes at the end of the, um, uh, after completing everything, I just to quickly review this um, questions. Uh, so question and answers so that you will need it very much. Okay. And if you think that uh, some questions you are doubtful, it's okay. Mark it and move on to next. Finish all the questions which you know very well first. Then you come back to the question you have doubt. And also, uh, eliminate the uh, answers which is not at all uh, matching with the question please eliminate it uh, implement that methodology then you go for the correct best option for that you need to read the question multiple times so to do all these things during the exam you need to spend enough time now itself in your assessment practice questions and mock questions and whatever whatsapp question sir is sharing with you you have to go through it dedicatively that is very very important okay so yes i think uh, we are about to finish but uh, before we proceed let me save a last question uh, uh, for you uh, maybe like uh, how does networking help uh, being a quality professional how does a networking help like you know uh, in a broader healthcare community uh, uh, to uh, to upskill your um, upskill yourself and like this is the network that we are doing currently now getting to know each other um, and uh, we are getting to know about the practices so um, as Mr. Um, Shahid shared about the success card which is a unique uh, thing which I learned today can anyone share your uh, experience on having a good networking as uh, with other CPHQ professional and also with a broader healthcare community which has helped and added value as a professional Um, I'll add to it, Agabi. Uh, yes. So actually, yes. I feel this networking is very important. Like, you know, the CPHQ friends which we made, like our batch, you know, has helped me a lot, a lot. Um, Because, you know, every time I have a doubt, I go back to them. Okay. Uh, so, uh, like, for example, like now, uh, I wanted to know about risk, you know, risk management because I'm not uh, uh, very, very experienced at it. So I asked uh, Pichamal ma'am and a few others and um, Abhi Rabi ma'am and like, you know, they sh shared with me a lot of concepts, you know. Uh, I wanted to learn more about FMEA, okay, because I'm not dealing with risk at present. So they shared uh, their documents, their concepts, you know, so it helps a lot actually to understand uh, it well in depth. If you, if you sit and study, you know, you'll not remember it much. But if you speak and if you collaborate with people, so definitely we are exchanging our, our views and our knowledge and it helps a lot. And and actually I want to add on that, you know, even on LinkedIn, sometimes when I open my LinkedIn or some, uh, like all the AHRQ, IHI, I get confused. What should I study from <laughs> here? You know, what should I pick up? And what should I apply? <laughs> so, you know, there is so much, so much, so much, you know, every, every, every other day there is a new concept. Like today I read one something new, you know, I'm like, what is this? Like every day there's a new concept. And uh, so, when we meet each other and when we speak to each other and we see, we cannot implement everything in our organization, right? 
so when we see how the other people are implementing it and if we feel it is good we take it also networking is very important i think and uh, definitely this platform has given me that chance to network with uh, other uh, like minded people yeah so uh, just adding to this question um what do you think that the future trend in healthcare quality going to be maybe it's open to everyone um how is the future of healthcare quality if we see from 5 years or 10 years from now so actually i would like like to just share one point like you know previously people were not much aware of things but now because of the social media i think even when the patient he comes to us he already knows the diagnosis in fact he will check check on us you know if we are correct or not you know they they try to test us so quality is very important in that sense and previously uh, they used to think that doctors are god okay now it is not like mm-hmm. that now if there is non compliance you are gone okay yes. so patients <laughs> so there are in fact they wait for the chances you know so that they can you know there are there are some people who do that they wait for chances that we go wrong or some legal aspects come you know so they can claim on us so yes. in that way also it's very important that we maintain our quality people are very learned nowadays and they are very smart so so definitely that it's going to be you know the requirement for quality and patient safety is going to be much higher in the coming years yeah. as right. uh, yes don't yes. you think in future yes. it's uh, it's going to be data driven yeah even now so but future it will be uh, completely dependent on data because uh, uh, a simple example i would say consultants when i go and tell them sir hand hygiene please follow hand hygiene uh, sir before any procedure or before you uh, before you perform a dressing they say see i am practicing here uh, as a surgeon for more than 25 years and initially we don't have any infection because of you people coming and implementing this that documents you know hand hand rubs hand wash and all our infection rates are going high so yeah. only with the data only with the data i can say it, it may be because of the bugs of resistant bugs we may not know only with the data we can prove to them and make them compliant with the quality uh, measures what we are trying to implement and of course digitalization healthcare quality where yeah. i don't think whether we we have work in the future or either, whether ai is going to take over completely or not yeah mm-hmm. okay yes as you said ai yes it's like uh, it's like really uh, i would say it's unpredictable and uh, we don't know what is going to happen through ai in the future but um, yes it's good as we just uh, be as a you know a networking group together and share practices share the uh, news among us so that we will be alert i feel uh, we are the luckiest uh, uh, people like on this era to be into healthcare quality because it was not so much advanced um just a decade before no way it was like just booming up now and uh, uh, i feel that there's a lots and lots of opportunity um uh, for healthcare quality with this data driven and ai into the field i think it gives us a large scope of uh, innovation research and uh, just making a difference like how uh, we are all now doing cphq certification because yes we want to be together. we want to just be with at par with industry standards that pushes the entire uh, 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 entire professional community and the fraternity towards upskilling so that's amazing obviously somebody each one of us is going to come with uh, some research ideas yes of course rishi had the platform for research also and uh, we are all together in a group so i think uh, it's it's a good movement that we are into to be frank i should i think we should continue this uh, momentum and keep going and share things so that we can actually contribute to the profession that, that we are, are doing yeah before that people used to say i am in quality i cannot grow but we can't say this now you have an amazing opportunity to innovate things in quality that's what i always tell uh, uh, my friends or the colleagues anyway so yes uh, so it was like uh, very um, nice talking to so i will give the i will uh, hand over the session now to professor tenarasu so i'm sure that he has to share something with us so um, yes sir please over to you yeah thank you ma'am <clears throat> good evening all 
Good evening, Good evening, sir. Very evening, nice sir. to hear your voice after a very long time. So happy. Uh, so glad. Yes. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Yeah. First, I would like to thank to all uh, certified professionals. Uh, God bless you all. And I'm sure definitely we'll do more collaborations because we are going to publish many papers, research papers. And, uh, you know, many people from this group are going to write exam after two to three weeks. So we need to share some uh, tips to clear this exam. So what what is your comment? What about we have many uh, experts no, from this group? Abhirami, ma'am. Yes, uh, yeah. Nithu, ma'am. Any, any special tips for this? Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, ma'am. Sir, this is me, Sanju. Yeah, yeah, please, ma'am. Please go ahead. So what, what uh, is your what is your uh, comments and tips to clear this CPHQ? Yeah, sir. Uh, so uh, unlikely, like others, uh, all all of them, like our batch mates, or most of them, they were from the quality background. So they were having like at least some knowledge about the practice and all. So from the beginning itself, when I I joined uh, in RISI, so I was like focusing on the same thing, like what you said, uh, the the things like which what you taught. Because for me, this is uh, as I am from a nursing nursing background. Uh, so I just recently I started some uh, uh, some work as a quality and patient safety coordinator. That too as an acting post. So I was having very very limited uh, and uh, very vague knowledge. Like I was not having that much knowledge in this aspect. Uh, so, uh, so the things which uh, which you taught and I was like grasping, even though I was having like many other uh, social circumstances like family and so many other uh, things were there. Uh, like uh, many times I was not able to even uh, spend uh, like enough time, but I made myself sure that as you uh, as per your instruction, like those concepts to to like mem to understand the concepts instead of like memorizing uh, to I, like i understand the concepts and many times like even though i was not uh, um, able to like i was feeling low uh, like low confident and i was feeling like i may not be may not be pass may not be pass passing this exam so uh, when i was talking to you you really gave me that confidence that confidence like it made me uh, i don't know like the, the day of exam uh, when i uh, wrote, uh, when i was reading those questions the, the the things which we were discussing in the class many of the questions like um, from those examples i i felt the the questions most of the questions like uh, even uh, the the some of the maybe maybe the words or the scenarios maybe it may be different but uh, i felt really those examples uh, and uh, those experiences which you shared and which you asked us like our experiences and all uh, were really reflecting in the question paper there uh, yes. so it's so I, what I felt personally from my side is uh, only to study, nowhere else to refer, just to study our PowerPoint, the, the classes, to concentrate the classes and not to miss any class. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Sir, yeah. and uh, I, I feel... I and this and many of them even they asked me you do you have this much uh, like <laughs> this much knowledge and quality how you passed in the first attempt itself mm -hmm. many of them they asked me like because even you, I you my know, you know the percentage of pass uh, as per NHQ database for the previous for the last batch just forty three percentage mm, yes sir so yes sir and we have this much rate of passing is like it's your hard work sir we have to salute this oh, and i'm so much privileged i will be even sir, like the um, i was like uh, like many things now even i'm just continuing my uh, this quality uh, practices in this also now many things the things which you have taught and many things like which our uh, in during our classes like many practical experiences and those things which you have said i'm like applying i'll go back to my notes i will refer those uh, and I will just apply all those, and it's uh, it's really it was really helpful for me. This uh, class was really helpful. Not not I'm not speaking <laughs> only regarding the certificate. I'm even speaking about like it's a lifetime experience. It's like good for us to learn uh, learn with Rizzi. Even I have suggested this to many of my other colleagues, other friends also. Yes, like if you have a, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> this is not because of my hard work. This is because of our vision. You know, our vision is very clear. No. Yes, yes, sir. This is very important for for each and every organization, correct? Yes, sir. 
and yes. that our batch also sir it was a very uh, very good excellent batch also sir yes, the, yes. all were having a good relation like uh, even many people like uh, even they were like uh, inr sir dr shishma pichamal and all of them you no know, they were like um, abidami ni to all of them like they were comforting me also like many time i feel that oh maybe i won't be make out like uh, they will be like comforting they were giving confidence and this all really helped me up so best so, team really, best team for 2023 correct i have to say yes, that yes so definitely <laughs> so definitely <laughs> there yes. is no doubt that thank you thank and you all, and waiting for you to start the cpps or the next session so that we all will again <laughs> Sure, sure, ma'am. Welcome. We'll let you know. Yes. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. What about uh, Nithu, ma'am? Print to yes, any, any yes, comment sir. from? Yeah, because we need some uh, some tips from each and every people. Correct, please. Sir, Nithu is here. Yes, ma'am. Sir, because I want to also explain uh, my experience with the uh, with you and the Marathi uh, Institute because uh, I only got the information from the Google. So I just messaged also the institution WhatsApp. Can you give me a trial for this class because I have <laughs> this much money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So because I don't have any friends, um, so I was full doubt how it's the class, mm -hmm. it is worthy or not. So I asked also, can you give me a trial? Uh, then they thought, no, no, you will not give any trial. You will be, um, you will like this class like that. So after my first class. so it was i was very shocked because it's exceeded my expectations then uh, from that moment i decided i would pass the cpsq so uh, because i am from infection control then i don't have that much knowledge about the quality and everything but um, it helped me a lot because i uh, learned a lot from from you sir then um, because uh, such because you are a very dedicated person and you explained everything in detail so without uh, understanding the concept it's not easy so thank you thank you, thank you ma'am it, yeah it saved my time also because i don't want to um, search any extra reference or any google i truly i didn't search any google or anything i trust only you, you the materials are from the institute also i studied then that's why i passed also thank you ma'am then then mm -hmm. another thing also important sir commitment also important so because i also have to tell from um, the november i think you scolded me a lot because november i had jca jca november 3 so uh, that one uh, i know because we may miss some classes then i have november 23 also the cphk exam but from the first class onwards i uh, i plan a schedule for myself so uh, every week i am going back the previous um, uh, lessons so every every week i am practicing again again so i don't want to look back the previous lesson so that's why it's easy for me also to achieve cphk exam thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you so much yes ma'am yes uh, sujita so ma'am others any any tips for our Hi, new sir, this candidate is Tapinami. yes ma'am please um uh, so thanks for uh, unmuting <coughs> me uh actually i should thank you personally because like i used to i i i i'll be the one who who will not attend the classes regularly still i was trying to catch up only with your motivation and also like of course my batchmates were very friendly and they were supporting me and they were like you know like um, they were motivating me ultimately uh, at at the same time like i see all the strengths uh, the, uh, if if you ask me what are all the strengths from rishi i would say like it is com like continuous feedback from your end like praising um, every each and every individual about their uh, exams uh, like model exams and um, you know like understanding the keywords from the questions and like eliminating the answers mm -hmm. which is not fitting to the question is one of the major thing which i tried because i usually like my weakness is i usually confused with the practice what i do in the pra in my hospital and i used to confuse and i'll answer accordingly to the answers so that was my uh, uh, like you know it was a huge gap from my end which i used to do every time but you will be you know giving the you will be pulling us every time like when we are crossing the like you know the border so that is really uh, like uh, uh, like that was a that was really a amazing thing which you were doing it every time 
and uh, and we are really thankful to user and uh, we already recommended many actually i think by now many of them from my circle also have already approached and uh, and like i'm glad that uh, i'm one of the source for like you know uh, for uh, giving uh, uh, contacts of rishi also like um, so i will be like uh, always been uh, you know be in contact with you and with my batchmates for uh, for every updates as you all mentioned networking is one important thing which we can share uh, different uh, you know places uh, updation like uh, as we are in uae we are totally you know not uh, aware of indian practices now so we are also getting to know about different uh, cultural practices in the healthcare setup and healthcare trend from different areas so that is also helpful regarding the networking so thank you sir thank you so much thank you thank you ma'am yeah yes ma'am hari priya ma'am anything any special comments tips for the new candidate hi sir good evening sir yes ma'am good evening ma'am first of all thank you sir uh, and thank you sir and rishi team uh, for the great course which you had given and for the certificate also of course you have uh, did a great work for us and uh, um, most of the tips most of the tips already everyone has shared it's yes. uh, first thing it's a regular attending of the class it's it's like uh, we should attend the class regularly then only we can catch up with the points uh, and um, and uh, this um, uh, while attending the, attending the class itself we should make some summaries that will be very helpful in the final moment preparations and we should have a dedicated uh, timing at least uh, one hour per day uh, it should be scheduled for uh, only for studying these things and uh, uh, as everyone said no uh, and you are also always telling that no need to do extra reference only going through your Uh, and this powerpoint see your class your summary everything will be more than enough for for passing out of this exam and to get more knowledge about the, these things and you are explaining every things in in great uh, in good detail uh, so it it is very easy for us to learn also even if uh, uh, some things we are not um, first first time hearing also it is like you are explaining very very well in in, in detail so uh, Uh, the main thing it is regular attending the class and making a, a time schedule for studying every day yes. that's it sir <laughs> thank you thank you ma'am thanks thank a you, lot sir. any any question from our new candidate any questions please sir i will share one thing also yeah please sir please sir shahid sir please good evening sir good evening sir uh, one thing uh, to the aspirants that uh, Uh, sir used to ask questions as as we know that uh, rishi batch contains people from diverse uh, backgrounds yes so sir ask cross questions and uh, by those cross questions sir build up a story sir builds a context so learn from it don't consider that oh, sir is busy with another person and you are busy as this is the online uh, sessions so you are busy with the other things so learn from the discussions so it builds a story it builds the context and the one important thing is that uh, celebrate learning yes. uh, celebrate learning means that uh, feel good about it celebrate learning in the form of sharing with colleague uh, with the study mate or even with a family member that yes. uh, that uh, you have learned this new thing and another form of celebrating uh, learning they to write it in your words in a good format or in the form of an infographic so it will reinforce the learning process excellent yes sir yeah the commitment the uh, concentration is very important for our uh, preparation training because if we focus on many things during our session then we lose everything correct thank you thank you sir yes any any other uh, input from others so i think in this process even you know support from family is very important yes exactly. because you know actually my in my family told me that i we felt as if you know we are also doing cphq certification with you <laughs> <laughs> my entire yeah. time table was changed and they were more than happy to get when i passed yes yes and they yes. were more happy actually i think you know they were like thank god <laughs> she passed yes <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Thank so you. So definitely all. involve yes, involve please. your family members. Like you know, sir. I think like we should involve our family members. Like I used to discuss. Like we this this happened in the class, and we studied this. If you have somebody to somebody to share in your family, so you can share with them. You know, and involve them and make it like uh, this is, this uh, is fun good. also. Yeah, this yeah. is good culture. Yes. Yeah. So this Appreciate. is what I was doing, you know, at home. So they were involved with it. So they didn't. They they managed. They existed with me. So it was good, like yeah. <clears throat> yes, Ramya, ma'am. Anything you want to share more? Yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, I I believe that most of them have shared everything, but still, uh, I just wanted to add a few points. First of all, let me congratulate those who have already registered with Rishi to consider Rishi as their knowledge partner. You have taken the greatest decision for the year. And uh, as say, Sir says always, you need to be focused on your perseverance. Always perseverance will propel you towards the success to which you aspire. And just a few things which you want to focus is starting from day one, start taking proper notes. Don't skip any of your uh, sessions. Maybe some uh, family emergencies might come, but still try to cope up with what you have missed. So take the notes and devote time in preparing uh, daily minimum one hour in the initial days. And when you near your exam days, please devote more time like three to four hours. And on the last few days, prepare yourself for the exam only. Uh, but don't stress yourself. Uh, you need to take some break and all. And then uh, what you need to focus is about uh, your MOOC exams. The MOOC assessment, sir, is giving you please do attend it properly. And more importantly, uh, when sir is discussing the questions uh, after the uh, mock exams or the practice questions when he is discussing, he will let you know how to eliminate the wrong answers, how to catch the keywords. And uh, that is the main area every participant should be focusing on. And uh, always revise and revise and revise all the practice questions. The more the merrier, if you can do minimum 10 to 12 times one same question paper itself, that will add more value uh, because once you see the question itself uh, during the exam, you will get more insights on how to uh, answer this, how to understand which is a wrong answer and the right answer. So that will definitely help you. And uh, uh, the golden rule, as sir always says, that don't refer anything other than what Rishi is providing you because you will get more confused if we go to any other uh, 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 any other articles or YouTube videos or anything. So please. Uh, restrict yourself to the content which sir is providing and moreover take half food on time have a sound sleep because when you near your exam you'll be more stressed but uh, don't take it don't think that cphq is just for getting a certification the immense knowledge you will be gaining through the sessions is what you should count upon and uh, you have got uh, dr tenariso as a tutor and you should tap his knowledge to the fullest extent that well, that is what we have done during our sessions and uh, do your part, trust your teacher and pray to God. Definitely you all will be successful and uh, all the best. May God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot for your continued support to Rishi and others. Uh, please, what is my kind request to all? Uh, please try to continue your learning. Try to do some research. Uh, present some some of your practices in a conference. Try to collaborate with the many people, please. Now there is huge demand for research people. So we should publish at least two to three papers per year. So if we focus on research, data analytics, collaboration, I'm sure definitely we'll get more opportunities. So thank you, Tahavi ma'am. Excellent sessions. Even I, I learned a uh, lot of new lesson for me. Thank Ravi, you, sir. Th thanks a lot, ma'am. Thank, thank you, sir. I feel like as a quality professional, uh, got you as a mentor it, uh, to upskill or uh, grow in the career. Uh, uh, it's I feel really fortunate. Thank you so much for being a mentor and helped in all aspects of knowledge gaining and continuously uh, giving us, uh, helping us to collaborate and engage, sir. Thank you. Thank and you. Um, one thing I wanted to tell them is like, uh, those who are up, uh, going for is, just for a few days, consider yourself as a student and listen to what sir says. Uh, it will make a difference and uh, have lots of prayer and uh, just uh, understand the concept just, 
listen to what sir says and become a student so once you have that mindset i'm sure that you can achieve it all the very best to everybody thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you all thank good you. night good night good night thank you sir good night